Hello everybody, welcome back. In last week's video, we started to refresh ourselves about the Passover topic. And we covered last week the main purpose. And we started to cover about the Lord's Passover. And the main purpose is the Lord's Memorial Day, which is coming on April 4th, Tuesday, in two weeks. So again, a recap about the topic of Passover once again, since we did it last year as well, and the year before. So yes, if we own, if we know about the Passover, we can and truly find out the importance and the truth about the Lord's Memorial Day. We can find out. So last week we went through about a situation in Israel, of the Israelites in Egypt, and in God, and God what and in God appointed time. God had prepared Moses. So in appointed time, God had appointed Moses to save his people from Egypt and lead them towards the promised land as promised to their forefather Abraham. So initially Moses showed his weakness to act according to God's plan, but God strengthened him and went, he went to Pharaoh with his elder brother Aaron. And we know that God strengthens Moses for 40 years as being a shepherd, which we looked at last week. So now we're going to go through this in much more detail. So we're going to go to Exodus 5th chapter, 5th verse. So let's, no, 5th, Exodus 5th chapter. We're going to read 1st to 5th verse now. So let's read that. So it says, Afterward, Moses and Aaron said, went and said to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. But Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, and moreover, I will not let Israel go, he says. Then they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please let us go a three-day journey into the wilderness, that we make a set may sacrifice to the Lord, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. But the king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why do you take my people away from their work? Get back to your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of my land of the land are now many, and you may take and you make them the make them rest for them from their burdens. So the way Pharaoh refused the God's words, and he said, Who is your God? I do not know who he is. And moreover, he started to torture the people more than before this point. So God's judgment had been passed to let them realize who the true God was, as the Pharaoh had gone out of hand against the Israelites. Since first he says, Who is your God? Then he, after this point, he makes the Israelites work even more after this point. So to teach him a lesson, God sends the ten plagues. And we can read in from Exodus chapter 11th, 11th to we can read Exodus 7th chapter to Exodus 11th chapter, and the final one is in the tenth plague, with is which is the first bone in all Egypt and families will face death, the death of as the tenth plague. By this judgment, he wants to punish Egyptians for their pride and arrogance, and at the same time, he wants to save the Israelites from their disaster. So he commanded to, then this is the point where the Passover comes in place as the tenth plague takes place. So he commanded the Israelites to choose a lamb to kill and eat and sprinkle the blood of the lamb on the doorsteps of their door. On all on three all three sides, this side, this side, and the top. But all this, all this, they must follow the process step by step, perfected from day from the day they have to choose the lamb and the time they have to kill it and how they should eat it itself and what are the requirements and restrictions they have to follow and follow it and ha and they even know how to, and they have to follow what God's steps are given and they even have to know how to finish the process itself and everything is given in detail and we can read all the commandments about how this passive should take place for the death angel to pass over their houses from the tenth plague so we can if you want to understand this in much more detail you can read all the 50 verses from 12th chapter and understand in each detail about how it explains about the power how what they should do to escape from the death angel they they have to follow the stri all of this strictly and all Israel's firstborn will be saved from the 10th plague if they follow them. And God showed Pharaoh who's the real God by this because we can understand because if Pharaoh would not know what to do at this point and God would show him who the real God is and like Pharaoh and he will completely go complete 
the Pharaoh will be shattered in a way because he's not believing what's happened. And now he understands the power of God. And then now the, the, then the Pharaoh will let them free from Egypt as he assumed the power of God and he had judged this before when Moses asked him the first time. So this is the called this is called the Passover because the death angel passes over the Israelites' houses who followed the instructions given in Exodus 12th chapter where you have to put the blood on all the doorsteps and kill the lamb at a specific time, how you should kill it, how you should finish your meal and how you should start your meal and what you should eat. Everything is given in the Bible in Exodus so you can understand so the Israelites could have survived. And the Israelites who did this, the angel, death angel will pass over their houses and they have to sacrifice one lamb for this, we understand. So this is how the Passover took place because the lamb, part, well, no, the death angel will pass over the Israelites' houses and this would be the tenth play, we understand. And when they pass over the Israelites' houses, the Israel, Egyptians' houses with the firstborns will be gone. We can understand now. So thank you for understanding about today's topic about the Passover. We understand about how the Passover works. It's it's when the Israelites follow the commandments given by God in Exodus 12th chapter where they have to kill the lamb, put the blood on the doorsteps and etc. which is given in the 12th, in the 12th chapter. We can see if they do this, the death angel will pass over. So that's where the name Passover comes from. So hope you understood today's video. See you next time. Bye.